The opening action of the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. We're at the Olympic Stadium. It's a T11 final, so it is complete visual impairment. All the athletes are blind. Well, Valenzuela not at the start line. Well, that is a turner. We're not sure what's happened with Valenzuela. So it's nine to get us underway in a quick head count. Nine athletes. It's Alves of Portugal. It's Sang of Kenya. One of Japan. Kamani of Kenya. Santos of Brazil. Castro of Ecuador. Zhang of China. Wilson Bai of Kenya. And Hassan Kassar of Turkey. Look, Santos sitting in a very nice position and maybe just shifting to the outside now. Thinks about it and slots back in behind the third of the Kenyans. And there's a block between Santos and the front but Santos shifts to the outside now looking to make a move and he's being forced wider and there's nearly a tangle of feet and a fall but Santos oh. brushes to the front here's the bell they go through in 14-14 Kamani trying to make a move on the outside and he is making a move on the outside and did Santos move too early but it's Kamani who's coming through to win this for Kenya the first goal of the Paralympic Games and Kamani crosses the line with Santos in second place for Brazil and it looks like Sang is coming through in third place for Kenya so Kenya gold and the bronze Brazil get the silver and what would have been a fairy tale for the host nation and here is the result of that in the men's shot put F32 category Dimitrios Sizidis from Poland took bronze with a distance of 9.24 meters Ferrari Balaz managed a silver with only two of his five throws counting. Konstantinidis from Greece extended his world record to 10.39 meters, taking gold. In the F52 men's discus throw, Sandor was thrilled to reach a distance of 18.24 meters to take the bronze medal. Robert Jakumowicz from Poland took the silver with 19.10 meters. And Igaz Apinis got his season's best and the gold medal with 20.83 meters. First field final of these Paralympic Games is the men's long jump T11. It's a, it's a much wider takeoff area. Ruslan persisted and eventually his efforts earned him a bronze medal with 6.20 meters. Lex Gillette, the current champion and favorite for these games, gave it his all. However, his biggest jump of 6.44 meters was enough for silver. With an expectant crowd, Ricardo Costa de Oliveira had to dig deep to find a couple of centimetres. He knew it was good, and he had to ask his guide to confirm his feelings. The Brazilian crowd waiting in anticipation for the final result. And it was confirmed, the first Brazilian gold medalist on the opening morning of the Paralympics. Well leading. Yes, the world champion has fallen behind another of the big favorites here, Kim Lopez Gonzalez. About a meter down at the moment. He hasn't taken the lead here, but he has improved a bit. He's got the margin with a 1594. Baz. 12 shot put. Oh, that's a good effort. Oh. That's a mighty effort. <laughs> and a 1598. For Saman Pakbaz of Iran into second position. Now, in the leagues, the competition. And Lopez Gonzalez. Oh, another strong effort from Gonzalez.
In round one of the women's 100 metres T11 Heat 2, it was a brilliant start by Great Britain's Libby Clegg, but China's Zhu fought back, setting up a dead heat. They both qualify for the semi-finals with a time of 12.17 seconds. In heat number three, it was a fabulous start in lane five by China's Liu. Despite a fight back by home favourite and defending champion Gilamina in lane two, Liu held on to qualify fastest with an impressive time of 12.03 seconds. Next up was the T12 heat one. Where Cuba's Amara Durand qualified the fastest and set a new Paralympic record of 11.58 seconds. In heat two, Ukraine's Oksana Botachuk came first, but was later disqualified, meaning Brazil's Oliveira Correa and Venezuela's Griel's Vea Roel progressed to the semi-finals. In the last heat, favorite Elena Chibanu qualified second fastest. With an impressive time of 12.24 seconds. In the women's T53 heat one, there was a dominant performance by China's Wang. with a world record time of 16.19 seconds. China dominated again in heat two, with victory for Zhu Hongzhuan. She beat Australia's Angela Ballard in a time of 16.64 seconds. In the women's 1500 meters T13 round one, Spain's Osses Ayuka qualified with a time of 4 minutes 49.19 seconds ahead of Tunisia's Boussaid and Ireland's Stremakaiti. In heat two of the men's 400 meters T12, Morocco's Madiafri and Portugal's Luis Goncalves both qualified with impressive times of sub 50 seconds. Meanwhile, in Heat 3, there was a close run battle between Spain's 20 year old European champion, Munar Martinez, and Sun Qixiao of China, the current Asian Games champion. The Spaniard winning by just two hundredths of a second.